How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to use your iPhone as a remote for your Chromecast. And um, basically to use it, all you have to do is make sure your your uh, iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi and it's on the same network that your Chromecast. Your Chromecast is, is on a Wi-Fi network, which is your home Wi-Fi. So make sure you have switched your iPhone to the same Wi-Fi network. And we're going to go ahead and demonstrate on a couple of apps here. We're going to start with Netflix. So we're going to tap on Netflix. And we're going to let it open up. Whenever it's ready to open up. There's a little symbol I'm going to point out to you. And it's the Chromecast symbol. And as soon as this comes up, we're going to tap that symbol and we're going to tell the iPhone that when we play the video, we want it to play on the TV and not on the iPhone. So the symbol is up here. This little symbol right here is the Chromecast symbol. So you're going to tap on there. And right now, iPhone is highlighted in blue. We want to tap bedroom Chromecast. Okay. And that will change the look on the TV. So it shows you the TV is connecting to Netflix. So now it'll show this screen right here and then we can choose a show to watch. I'm going to play the Magic School Bus. We're just going to hit play. And here it is. The TV will begin to load and then um, it will play. There it is. And then this is what you're going to see on your iPhone. So the cool thing is on your iPhone you can control the volume. So we can just move that volume left and right. It's a little bit of a delay. But you can't control the volume from here. You can also do other things on your iPhone while it's uh, casting. Volume down a little bit. All right, let's go back to Netflix. Turn it down a little bit. All right. So again, while it is casting, you can do other things with your phone. So you can actually close this. And if you wanted to like be playing Candy Crush, or if you wanted to check your email, or your text message, you can even make phone calls while it is uh, casting to your TV. So it's playing right now. Now let's say if we want to stop it, we can pause right from the app here. And there's a little bit of a delay sometimes, so we've paused it. And then if we want to stop it from casting, we're gonna press the button the bottom there we want to press iPhone and it will switch back and it will get off of the screen now next I want to show you uh, Pandora because obviously that was a video video streaming so now I just want to show you just straight streaming music okay we're gonna skip to Pandora in fact I'm gonna move down to the here because it is tough holding this thing for that long okay so I want to change that song because I don't want that song to play let's switch to the Maya station here okay so TLC is playing now notice the bottom we do have the Chromecast symbol right here so you're gonna tap on it and then give it a second so we want to tap Bedroom Chromecast. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see it there. Tap Bedroom Chromecast. And it will switch onto the TV, which is what it's doing right now. See that? And then I can raise that volume right from the iPhone at the bottom here. Volume. See that? So this might be a cool thing you want to do, holiday party, put um, you know Pandora Station on the TV and have the songs change. And again, you can close this and you can let that play. It will continue to choose new songs. You can use your phone and do other things. So again, your iPhone really acts as just a remote 
for the Chromecast. So that's why it doesn't have to stay on the screen. And the same thing with YouTube. I can open up YouTube. And I more so wanted to open different apps to show you where to find the symbol. So the symbol is right here, the top. Sorry, kind of hard to see it there. Alright. White doesn't always show good on the camera here. So it's up here in the corner. Ugh. Sorry guys, Just trying to get it to show properly so you can see the symbol. There we go. Alright, so right there. And it's already on Chromecast. So technically, if Chromecast, if you've already have it being casted uh, to the Chromecast, you don't have to keep switching it back and forth. So like right now, Chromecast is still in blue. So all I have to do is just pick a video here. If I pick this video, the Chromecast will stop casting the song and then it'll switch this video. So give it a second, you'll see. Oh, guess I was wrong. All right, let's tap the symbol. And we're gonna tap bedroom Chromecast. So I guess I was uh, incorrect there. You still do have to reselect it again and then it'll switch from that one app to another app. So sorry about not being able to show it. The, the showing white always shows tough on the camera. So same thing, we can pause it. We can keep playing it. We can also close it down. And we can even go back home while the video continues to play on our TV. So that's really the cool part about this thing is it really allows you to just use your phone as a remote for it, but it doesn't take over your phone. And then we can go right on our screen here and pause it. We can select other videos, whatever. And uh, that's it. So. Uh, I'm not going to show Hulu, but Hulu works the same way as Netflix does, but just kind of wanted to give you a general uh, tutorial of kind of like how you use your iPhone with it. Again, you do have to use some type of external device to work with Chromecast. It doesn't work independently of itself. So these are again like the four like main apps. It also works with HBO Go and Vivo, and then there's a big list of apps that they're adding as well. So, um, you know, it depends on what you like to do best, but this is such a useful device. And all you need is an iPhone or tablet or computer, and you could run it through here. So this video is all about using it through the iPhone. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Sorry, one last point I did want to add. So obviously the video is paused on the screen. So you would want to go to go back to YouTube and we want to tap the symbol and we want to go to iPhone. So basically telling our, our uh, phone that, hey, stop casting. So you have to do it in the app that you are in and you'll see the TV will be paused on that app. So if you see YouTube on the screen, you have to go to YouTube and actually tap the Chromecast symbol and tell it to to stop casting your TV and select iPhone again. So anyway, guys, once again, hope you find it helpful. Like the video, favorite, share it. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one.